Chihan Tamo, and welcome to Dulce America. My name is Bing Futch, and today I'll be teaching you a very, very simple version of Green Sleeves, also known as What Child Is This, that you can get into right away and play in time for those uh, holiday gatherings that many of you are having this weekend. You'll need a capo to uh, get us at the first fret there, putting us in the key of E minor. Now we will be droning this tune and not playing any chords. One of the reasons that it is very simple, you just sort of have to pick your way through the melody, which is going to involve going over to the middle string a couple of times. And also we're not going to just strum across the strings all the time. We're going to kind of pick back and forth to get some of those individual notes to ring out a bit more and also to give us a little bit of arpeggiation in the background um, so that the song flows. So we'll start off basically with a nice open strum. Pick the melody note on the melody string and that's going to give you your first note right there. Third fret. First time we're going to the middle string. Then we've gone to the middle string a second time. Okay, notice I'm going for the third time to the middle string. We're going to that same spot there, which is the third fret, middle string, and then the third time we're going to go off and play the open middle string. So that first sequence again. Okay. Notice once again that I'm not uh, strumming across all the strings. I just want to sort of pick at the melody strings and every once in a while you'll see I do a little bit of an extra um, pluck somewhere on the bass string or on a melody string to sort of give it a rolling feel as we move through. Okay, so we repeat that twice and then the tag on that last bit's going to go like this. There's your tag. Open, and then back to the melody string. The next part goes. That is the second portion of the tune. Going over it from the very beginning. And that's all there is to it. Now to really kind of spice it up, uh, notice how I'm doing these little additional um, uh, strums and picks, sometimes going across all the strings and sometimes arpeggiating. So as you come through the tune, you can find the spaces that need a little extra something something. One way is to slide into a note. Notice how I'm coming back and doing sort of a, a cross-picking, flat-picking thing.
So I'm coming over on the bass string and I'm putting in just a little bit of a, uh, a pedal tone. The bass line isn't doing anything fantastic there, it's just sort of sounding every now and again. And as long as you keep that sounding consistent, it's always going to uh, put a perpetual motion into whatever piece you do, and this can apply to all different types of music that you play. The arpeggios, when you're finished with a melody note, you can then uh, arpeggiate across the strings as opposed to simply strumming, and that way you get more mileage out of that measure or two that you're using there. And you can arpeggiate from the bass side or from the melody string or even sort of hop back and forth from the middle string and pop in there. It's all very interesting and it's all, best of all, very, very simple. Notice some little hammer-ons that I'm doing there. Very, very light and gentle. So, so I'm coming in with a little hammer on there. And a little bit delayed as well. Coming in a little bit late on that note and hammering it on there. A very, very gentle touch to give your music even that much more of a flavor. Well, that about wraps it up for me, not only for this episode of Dulce America, but also for the year. I'm wishing everybody out there a very happy holidays, happy Hanukkah, Merry Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, and of course, a very, very happy New Year to all of you from all of us at Casa de Milagro Studios. Until next time, my name is Bing Futch. Shonabish. Mm -hmm.